All right, taking a look at sports, let's go to Major League Baseball. And uh, we're well into the chase for the World Series trophy. And uh, some surprises, to be quite honest with you. In a big win last night, the San Diego Padres did what they had to do. They took one of the home games away from the Dodgers, which means that for the time being, for the time being, they have the home field advantage. Now they have to hold on to it. Uh, they have to keep winning. But um, that's what they have to do. Well, anyways, um, they finished, I think, 20 games behind uh, the Dodgers. Uh, but they made it into the playoff round. They beat the Mets in three games. And last night, they defeated the Dodgers 5-3. to three. Five to three. And they had some help. Five. Slugging help. You know? You can have you can have good pitching. Good pitching always does manage to defeat good hitting. But it helps when you've got good hitting as well. Two one. Machado rips it down the left field line towards the corner, and Manny Machado has given the Padres the early lead in the first. And just what the doctor ordered there, Adam. He doesn't get this one in to Manny Machado. That was a rocket. <laughs> Slider. Machado beats it to the spot. That's what Bob Melvin said. You have to be able to beat him to the spot. 2-1. Rounded towards third. It's past the diving Muncy. Kim will score to tie the game. A carom off the sidewall. Soto will cruise in the third. It's an RBI double for Machado, and it's 2-2 two two in the third with nobody out. Clayton Kershaw away from his best pitch, which is a slide. 2-0 fastball, 2-1 curveball. Manny does a great job letting it travel. When you are behind in the series, you need a win. You need your stars to come to play. Manny Machado, two at-bats, two RBIs, a homer to double. Hard hit towards third. Machado somehow has it. What a play. His sparkling defense continues, and there are two away in the fifth. What did I tell you earlier in the game? Trey Turner hit it to him. Don't hit it to him. Exactly. That's why you don't hit it to him. Uh, and so, obviously, uh, a terrific game uh, for uh, Manny Machado. Um, and, of course, if you're going to win, you're going to have to win with a good bullpen nowadays. Yeah, I mean... Pitching is, is totally different nowadays than it was uh, 15, I'll say 10 years ago, 20 years ago, where pitchers went to full length as long as they could. But now, you need a closer. And San Diego had that closer last night. Where is the audio for this? Here it is. This, this sealed the win. Hater trying to put away the best comeback team in baseball this season. In the air to right, Soto is there. And this series is even at a game apiece. A game apiece. San Diego and the Dodgers. Wow. Congratulations. And uh, over in the other game, which took place in the National League yesterday, Atlanta woke up as uh, Philadelphia stole the first game of that series uh, and uh, will take a 1-1 record back to Philadelphia. Atlanta defeated Philadelphia yesterday by a score of 3 to nothing. All right? 3 to nothing. So now um, we have those series tied up um, in, uh, in the National League. And we turn our attention today uh, to the American League and National League. There's a bunch of games that are happening uh, today. Um, we'll take a, a look at uh, 
That's not what I wanted. Eesh. Got to find it here. There we go. Give me the give me the schedule here. Give me a little help. Now I know the Yankees are playing um, today. You've got Seattle and Houston. That series right now stands with uh, Houston within one game to none lead. Uh, that game will be held at uh, about 3.30 this afternoon. And uh, the Yankees will take on Cleveland. That's a, a 7.30 start. The Yankees hold a one to nothing lead in that. So that's uh, baseball. That's happening tonight. And then, coming up on October the 14th, tomorrow... Atlanta and Philadelphia will get together, and the Dodgers and San Diego will get together. Then on Saturday the 15th, there are a bunch of games. Um, Atlanta and Philadelphia, Houston and Seattle, the Yankees and Cleveland, and uh, the Dodgers and San Diego. So, Major League Baseball. In the prime time of the year. All right. Uh, going on tonight, along with the baseball, Thursday night football. The Commanders versus the Bears. You know, I, I, I didn't think I liked <clears throat> the way M Prime was presenting the pregame show and games. But you know what? They're new at it, <clears throat> and I'm kind of getting used to it. So uh, tonight, if you're a football fan and you want to see two mediocre teams play, well, you can. Washington and the Bears. Uh, the Commanders are one and four, and the Bears are two and three. Now, I don't know if you were watching on Sunday any NFL action. Uh, but uh, at the end of the game between the Raiders and Kansas City, walking off the field, Oakland Raiders, oh, listen to me, Oakland. Uh, the Raiders, uh, Devontae Adams, Amazon offers free tech. pushed a photographer. Photographer jumped out in front of him to take a picture and he pushed him down. Well, he's been charged with misdemeanor assault for shoving that photographer. Um... He was cited for intentionally inflicting bodily harm upon a photographer who suffered whiplash and headache. Now, even before this came down, Devontae Adams apologized and said, you know, hey, it wasn't personal. I was just still pumped up after the game. We lost in the last seconds, <clears throat> and I lost control. Now, it's no excuse <clears throat> There's no excuse, but he owned up to it right away, and uh, and he probably will wind up paying the man's medical bills and a fine uh, or doing community service, and he might even face suspension from the NFL. You got to remember these are <clears throat> highly tuned young athletes coming off the, the field immediately, immediately after a game. And immediately after this team lost. Like I said, it's no excuse, but there's so much pressure and importance um, that to jump out in front and take a picture um, was, wasn't probably the wisest thing for the photographer to do, but it's still, it's still in no way opened up the door for Devontae Adams to push him. So, all right, and uh, final note, Tom Brady has purchased a team. He's purchased a major league pickleball expansion team. The big game of the upcoming weekend, obviously, Philadelphia 
and Dallas. Philadelphia 5-0, and oh, Dallas 4-1. and one. And the Giants are sitting there hoping that if the Giants win and Philadelphia loses, you've got three teams at 4-1 and one at the top of the division. I don't know whether that's going to happen or not, but that's what the Giants are hoping. At this point, with the Giants at 4-1, and one, we'll take what we get. <laughs> we'll take what we get. Normally it takes us to the last game of the year to win four games. All right, that is a check on sports this morning.